Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. My name is Tom Novak, and today is August 31st of 2023. It's Thursday. It's 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius at 8.15 p.m. Sorry about the chalk there. <laughs> today we're going to do our Murtis Part 1. Plus, I'm going to show you the mystery tree, what I found. So I don't know if you guys guess what it is. It's got compound leaves plus thorns and the leaves sometimes are alternate or opposite on it I might I think it's a honey locust but I might be wrong but let me show you the leaves I cut a piece off I tried to save one but I guess the landscapers got them and knocked them all down but you can see these are are opposite let me get the other branch if we can see it better and then on here you can barely see it but it's it's uh, alternate kind of weird now I took a cutting of what was left out there because I tried to pull one out but the root was so deep so I just took cuttings off of it and you can see the thorn on it so I'm gonna see if I can root it, root it and see what it what it turns out to be see if it'll root for me and it also has seeds let me show you the seeds the seeds are almost like a honey locust because that's what it remind me of but it's not because we got honey locusts growing with it but these are the seeds from it and this is the pod so it's almost like a honey locust pod only smaller the trees loaded with them but this is the only one I could find so if you think I'm right let me know in the comments below because I'm pretty sure it might be a common locust but the compound leaves means it's one stem with all leaves on there as you can see so this you this is not going to turn it you know you got to have the branch so this was coming out of the branch and what I did is I just took I, I got some more uh, stems so what I did is I put them in water and water about that much covered them put a dish on there to keep them hydrated until I can see if I can do some more cuttings just to try it out but today we're going to tackle our our myrtus communis or our true myrtle myr myrtle and this is it this is one of my arch nemesis now I'm going to show you because once we prune it we're going to do the Tomorrow we're going to do the Brian Batch Elder method. And so far this worked. I'm going to have to show you the one that I did previously. But first we're going to have to try and do some pruning on it. Let me take the rocks out because I soaked it under water to get all the ants out of it. But you can see the how it looks. It's a beautiful little tree and now it dried out with all that heat because I wasn't able to get to it. But it's still coming back and you can see the seed pods on there so i think that when i prune it, i'm going to save these seed pods and maybe i can see if i can grow it from seed i don't know we'll see so let's see where the pods are this is a, a very going to be a very uh tricky way of getting getting it soaked real good to get this get it apart like I did on the last one so first we're going to take and we're going to go close to the trunk and take this one off take this one off and we're going to take this guy off because I want my trunk line higher uh, I need my ironwood tools my needle nose because nothing cuts wood like ironwood there and we got a nice branch. I don't know if it'll root. Let me get my frog. Let me get out of the way. This is my frog. It's water with a with holes in a in a. It's just an old plastic pot with the holes in it. They call it a frog. So I got I'm putting it in there just to keep it nice and wet. Now we have to look because we got uh see how we can shape this tree a little better 
I got this one that, that cut and came off. And I'm putting that into the frog to see if I can root it. But this is my arch nemesis. I can never get it to grow in regular soil. Even I tried Nigel's method with the uh, uh, half per perlite and, and half uh, turfus. Well, I used the, the, I can't think of the name of it, but from the uh, for the aquarium stuff. So I'm going to take this one off here. Now this one's got like a a kukuriku branch that grows up this way, so we're going to cut the kukuriku off. Just like that. Let's put it in our frog. So we can try to root it. Now this is a live branch here, so we're going to leave that one. Now this one's coming out in triplets. Well, more than that. We're going to have to really figure out how we want this. We don't want to, if we're going to keep this as a front, maybe this way. So this branch here, we can probably cut it back, but let's get this one out of here and get this lower one off and this lower one off so we can see our trunk line better. And I'm going to put it in, the, in our frog. I don't know, maybe it'll root, maybe it won't. I'll try a couple of them out. I'm going to say, Tom, it's late in the year. Well, I know that, but we're going to have some hot days. Even though it's 70, last night it was 60. So what is that? I can't even think in Celsius. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll, you'll know. But it should still root. Now, Aunt, how did you get in there when I got you all soaked and ready and done with? I don't know. It must be like Lloyd Bridges from Sea Hunt. Okay, we got this one off. These aren't ripe yet, the, the pods. So I don't think that'll grow. Now, this is really weird and interesting. So I can keep this one maybe to grow up and take this one out, which I think I will. Now let's cut off some of these dead ones that weren't too good. Even though there is green on it. I'm going to cut this one back to here. Now this one's got a lot of pods on it. So I'm going to cut it to this branch here so we can keep it a little shorter. These pods are just starting to turn, but I don't know if it'll grow. So what I'll do is just strip it over here and then put it in my frog. Maybe this, this will root, maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll try it because the hardest part on this one is to get it to overwinter. Okay, we got that one off. There's a nice pod here, but it's not brown enough. But I got a brown one here. Nope, it's still green, so I'm going to leave that one on. And I'm just going to cut this back. Now this branch here, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to shorten it to here. And I'm going to cut these over here. I'm going to leave this on so I can uh, let the pods turn black. And then I can have them. Do I have a pod here? Yep, these these pods are black. So we can cut this back to here. Well, I missed the pods on that one. Oh, well, here they are. It's hard to see on this one. So I'm going to just go until I hit the branch with my pruners. Put this on the side. Save the pods. Now you can see this branch is way off on a tangent. It's way this way. So let's get rid of this one. And we'll put this in our frog. 
and this one we can cut this one's really really turning out this way it's really growing tall so I'm gonna cut it back to here because this way here maybe these will come out more but they're growing on the inside so I'm gonna have try to develop that one so it has a different flow this one's too far out so we're gonna now this could be like a water shoot they call it but to keep the canopy, canopy full I'm gonna take this one off and let this one grow straight up and then we can always prune them back because right now with the heat this one really took a turn for the worse now you can see this one's got like a, a slingshot like a fork so all I'm gonna do is use this branch here so we can have it grow out this way cut it right there now we got one really coming out and we got one here that looks dead but let me cut it to here and you can see it's still green so maybe the life will come back sometimes they do on these a lot of times they don't so I'm going to take this water chute out if I can get it that's a dead one this is really taken this way so I'm going to just put it to back to here take this water chute out that's going straight up and I want to develop this branch coming out this way so I'm going to take that off this one is too tall so we're going to cut it I'm going to let my, my shears hit to there and just cut it right here there's some pods there I think the tops so we can see what we're doing we're just going to cut them because tomorrow will be the big day when we do the Brian Batchelder method and hopefully this will flush out real nice now there's a big conglomerate inside here I'll take that one off and take this one here off and this one now you can see this branch has got like a kukuriku branch going out this way so should we save the two forks so we get a nice development of the branch there and get rid of this one because there's really not much flow on it if we have take this sign out of here so if we have the have it this way or this way as a front like this I think we'll keep this one and cut these two off and see what goes from there there we go put them in our frog maybe the water root in the water I don't know but there's our little tree now we got one coming out here so take that one out and the top you got all water shoots here when I call them water shoots is because it's you got the long branch here and the rest are coming straight out like suckers so I'm gonna get rid of them so we can see what our branch looks like there we go. now this one I can leave just so it gets some so the tree gets some vigor I don't want to cut everything off cut these dead ones off here now in here you can see the water shoots there so I'm going to take this one off this one okay Tom don't go looking cross-eyed on and now you can see some more water shoots we could probably develop one as a a branch but for now let's just go through it and see what we got 
Now on this one where we cut it, I'm developing this one so it comes out more, but this piece here is dead. So I'll cut that off. And we got a dead one right there. So we'll go into there and cut it. Now we got one coming straight out, but hopefully, hopefully one of these water water shoots will, will grow. Now we got a double one here, so maybe we can keep it. Now, if we take that away, we got the bones of it. There. We're just going to chop the living daylights out of it right now. That's what it looks like. But if this back buds, then we'll be all right. But I had to take some of these water shoots off and let these branches develop. Now, you can see everything is good here. And here we got a nice little cluster right there. So I think we can leave that. And then here, we'll take this one out to here and let the young ones develop. Can't get in there with that one, so I need my ironwood, the needle nose, to get in there. There. Now, there we go. It looks kind of naked and burly looking. Let's cut all these little dead ones off. This doesn't have thorns, but it smells good. I'll tell you that when you rub the leaves between your fingers and give it a little smell. But there she is. So tomorrow it's going to go outside tonight. And then tomorrow evening, we'll give it a shot and see what we can do to take it apart and do the Brian Batchelder method. Now, Brian Batchelder was one of my mentors. He was the first one that got me really going on bonsai because he really did a lot of stuff with it. And then after him, I was looking for some a good root man, and that was Nigel Saunders, Dr. Saunders. That's what I call him. So tomorrow we're going to take tear this apart because it... We're going to see what kind of roots are in here. And then we're going to go from there with the, the Brian Batchelder uh, soil. Because the one that I did before this is growing. And I could never get them to grow after I, I uh, took them apart, took the roots apart. But this one in, in the Brian Batchelder soil really took off. So... Getting a little late on this, so today is Thursday night. Grab a good book, cup of tea, sit back, relax, turn that TV off, turn the video off, turn the phone off, and sit down for a good hour and read. Get your mind going. Think of it and get a good book and hold it in your hands. The smell of an old book is, and the turning of the pages, I don't know. It's very good. You can sit back and relax and it settles your mind. Take care, everybody.